Hey, this is Matt from Avesquant. Today is Wednesday, March 31, 2021. And today is the last trading day of the quarter, finishing up Q1 of 2021 today. So that's what we're going to be looking at this morning is what has happened historically on the last trading day of the quarter in a similar market environment. So I have selected all four instruments. The setup we'll be looking at is based upon entering the market long at the open of regular trading hours and exiting at the close of regular trading trading hours. Now we're currently trading pretty flat this morning, so I am not going to include an opening direction. Normally I do include an opening direction, but since we are flat, I am going to skip over that. You can come back to this on your own if you want to dig into uh, exactly where we're opening at with this day. So uh, I'm going to skip over that. I'm going to go into indicators next and put us in a similar market environment. We're trading up near the all-time highs, so a very bullish environment here above a 10, above a 200 day simple moving average. And then last Lastly, I'm going to go into the calendar library, and I'm going to say it is the last trading day of the quarter that is available within the unique days uh, category here. So I just need to hit equals next to last trading day of quarter. That'll add it up to the uh, header section, which means it is included in the test. And now I can hit view results. And here we go. These are the results based upon going long at the open of regular trading hours on the last trading day of the quarter when in a similar market environment, which I have as above a 10 and above a 200 day simple moving average. Historically, for the S&P, there are 35 samples dating back to 2003. Uh, for the NASDAQ, we've got 32 samples. We've got 33 in the Dow, 34 in the Russell. And the win rates on these are very neutral. So we've got S&P 51%, NASDAQ 53%, Dow 48%, and Russell 50%. If we look at the average win and average loss on these uh, days, you can see the average win for the S&P is just a little bit larger than the average loss. It's also larger than the average loss in the NASDAQ. It's very similar in size for the Dow. And then the Russell, the average loss is a little bit larger than the average win. So really this uh, day in this environment is not showing much of an edge. You can see in the recent years, it has been a little bit stronger. You can notice that there in the equity curves as they are all kind of curving up since 2016. Uh, it's really noticeable there in the NASDAQ. You can see it's kind of been uh, working its way higher there. Here's the ES, which is the S&P futures. It's been pointing up here in recent years as well. Um, and you can look down below and see, you know, the last handful of years, it's been a little bit stronger than the overall average. But long term, dating back to 2003 in this environment, very neutral uh, win rates here. There are some other biases that are uh, quite strong on this day, and maybe we'll look at one later into the close this afternoon. But right here off the open, it is not showing uh, much of a bias in either direction. So hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today, and we will see you next time. <laughs>